let's um let's let's break it down let's talk a little bit of strategy i i think uh it, it plays a little bit slightly different uh than the solo i've seen some super high scores too so um all right 138 well played you you had a big doubler or two potentially very good all right we got we got a score to beat for next game everybody we got to beat that 138 it all it all depends on the rolls too 26 is huge yeah all right here we go let's get some strategy going all right so we got a new camera angle to chat some strategy um so also get some music off here we go let's talk about some strategy for uh here we go truck off the food truck frenzy rolling right so i mean without delivering too much too many secrets right because this is so near and dear to me um i think yeah knowing 15 turns helps to strategize a lot um not not you know like you need to make sure that you have places you can go in front of you i think a few turns that to me felt very pivotal where when i was here i had a gas station next to my um, stop and i could have went upwards to this you know this d20 but instead i went down here and picked up uh a d12 a d20 and then another d20 and that was like one two three venues right in a row on my tracker and that was like really efficient play for me that I don't, you know, I think I, I, I almost, I think I literally missed this row all together and almost missed this one all together. So making sure that you can write 15 numbers in is probably strategy, just strategy number one. Strategy number two, uh, set yourself up for the D20s. So, the, you know, we all know the D20 is going to be a, a really pop high number potentially. Um, make sure that you like can get there. Um, also, if you give yourself a few turns prior to that D20 needing to happen, uh, if you're within proximity for one turn or two turns or three turns, you're that much more likely to net a really big result on your D20. But that takes a lot of careful planning, right? To be able to, to really dance around those D20s without having to go there. At some point, you will just have to go there. And it may actually be a terrible thing because you score very low and then it, you know, kind of interrupts your game or your your little dance before has set your sheet up in, in, a, in a weird manner um so uh number two so number one was uh, make sure you always have a place to go uh, and make sure you're able to mark 15 spaces number two is uh make sure you are close to d20s when it counts number three is clearly take advantage of the bonuses uh the gas stations were hugely immensely helpful for me um the two gas stations I was able to, to write on here. The, the the times two was also pretty helpful. These wilds are super helpful as well. So those come in, you know, times like when you just need a, uh, you could use, you know, um, an efficient play or they help you gain another bonus uh, that you probably weren't able to get to. Um, interestingly too, these gas stations, you can use them multiple times. Like I said, you can go through them. You can, you know, kind of, uh, you can kind of manipulate that board state around the gas station and really just go far. Um, now, if you go too far away from the gas station, you're not able to get back. So you got to keep that in mind too. Um, you can also chain things up. So I've seen people do gas station next to gas station. And so they're able to pretty much go all the way back and forth across the entire map, which is hilarious. Um, what else promoting venues i think is a little bit strategic so in the interactive version of the game where you're playing with other people at the table um you are going to want to promote the venues that you are making more marks at uh that coincides with your strategy of of where you want to be gaining bonuses in the future so the more marks you make in a column for example the uh that's how you're going to unlock a bonus in the column uh but you're also going to be potentially like vying for that those same resources with other people. So if, if for example, uh, and the way that the promoter venue works in the interactive version, so with other people around the table, as I would say, I'm promoting the D20, I would make two marks in my D20, everyone else at the table makes one. So I'm actually helping people score more points if they've 
uh, parlayed in the same strategy. So you're all like, yeah, hey, let's hold hands. We're all doing the same thing. However, um, if you are not playing on the same strategy, you're not going to be helping them out, right? Uh, you may be helping yourself and not helping someone else. Um, these these extra five dollars down here, I think, are are good to keep in mind. If if you can just sneak them in by the end of the game, that's you know that's a, a solid um, boost as well. Um, let's see. The may, maybe the last thing I've noticed in this game has been uh, this, and this is in the interactive version. So I do want to make sure I talk about this. Is is the re rolls? So it, it kind of goes to show you. It kind of goes to say. Um, you want to know when to re-roll re -roll which dice. Um, you don't necessarily need to even look at the, the entire table. You can kind of feel the suspense building when people need those D20s. It happens to, to usually be around, you know, like turns two, three, four, uh, like on the threes almost, because people try to hit those threes in the row. And so you see a lot of D20s, uh, people taking D20s on that third turn or on that sixth turn or um, like that. So you kind of know when to reroll which dice. Obviously you want to play your own board, uh, but sometimes if there's a, if you leave a D20 out there and you like try to reroll, you know, this to get to a higher result, um, you're, you're, you're basically throwing yourself out of the game because you've left that D20 out there. So it's all, it's all kind of that, uh, you know, the, the differentials of the situation, right? Rerolling two dice, I think, actually is super powerful in the uh, in the interactive game as well, because being able to, you know, try to uh, increase the result for something or reduce the result for someone else is a big deal. Playing with less people, rerolls matter more uh, than than playing with more people. So the, you just have more turns that you would be the active player. Uh, and what's cool is you can play this game up to like ninety nine people, right? I think the the biggest limiting resource is just being able to see the dice. So um, that's what this makes. Uh, that, that's why this kind of global game night makes it awesome. So, uh, so I did a lot of talking. Let me see if there were any other uh, cool ideas or questions on strategy. Yep, knowing fifteen turns, lat planning the last three is huge. Yeah, we all. I, I mean, and Amber said you you ran out a little bit, went way too far a few times on the track, got in a pickle a few times. Totally. Yeah, I I feel it. I've been there. Um, I, I really now think about like making the conservative play uh, because that sometimes, uh, I think it, it, it makes it that much more important of where do I go and be opportuni opportunistic versus making the, conserv the more conservative play. Uh, in the regular game, it just ends when someone gets to the finish. Yes, actually that, that is true. The game actually ends when somebody gets the finish, but you must have played 12 turns and so you can sort of end the game faster than other people are ready for because you finished on turn 12. It adds a nice little like pacing aspect to the game. Um, it doesn't let people be too greedy and just go as so as super slow as they can and try to you know pick up all the venues. Uh, so yeah, and Ethan did not even touch the bottom row. So you were very efficient, but also scored very well. So let's go ahead and turn to uh, the main event. Let's let's play for for reals the championship. We'll see how it goes. Um, if if anyone has joined since the start, let me go ahead and post the link back in. There we go, and that has the gamepad. So we're gonna play on side B. Again, I need to come up with a better food truck name this time. Mine was pretty lame. Um, my new truck, a real pizza work. <laughs> uh, let's see. Here we go. Back to the stream.